I told Chris, I was like, yo, I didn't tell her specifically. I was just like, yo, you got duped in your HOH. Yeah. I feel like you put up people that adored and loved you. And as a result, they're now telling me and others, like, Christmas is a target. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're literally trying to have everybody go like this around mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And now Christmas is paranoid because she knows she's not really part of the group like she thinks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was really good. That was really, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. I just wanted to... Telling her that. That was brilliant. So now she keeps telling me, she's like, I'm, like, I'm not going to say who, just watch how people move around the house. Mm -hmm. Look who goes in rooms. Mm -hmm. Anything is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Right after the veto ceremony, mm -hmm. Nicole, Danny, and Ian all went into a room. Immediately. Immediately. Key room. Went for a few minutes, all came out together. After? The veto ceremony. Last week. Oh, okay. This, mm -hmm. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. Ah. Oh, after we got back from playing the veto. Right before you played it. Ah. Right before you guys left. <laughs> okay. I'm always observing and watching. I don't. So everything you said... I have a great wit, and me and Bailey have talked about um, all of this stuff that's been going on in this house about the chunk, about the outskirts. We've talked about all of that. Um, I trust you, and I'm glad she told you that just to kind of reaffirm. Because um, again, me and you have been on like this roller coaster, and I don't know. My objective was like. Bro, I don't know what more I need to do to get you to trust me. I guess that'll happen as time progresses. I don't know. So I can tell you what, what if if the frustrating thing is because Tyler didn't put me up, I began to trust him. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's part of his ploy. Mm -hmm. um, he told me that, no, 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 not even he told me. Danny, because I remember at the early on, I would go to Danny and be like, I don't know what's going on in this house. Like, I need help. Just me trying to get her to speak to me on some mm. game level one time she sat me down and she indicated without saying that you know somebody was trying to flip the vote somebody you're close to mm -hmm. trying to make it seem like it was you oh okay mm -hmm. and I remember early on Tyler asked me like cause me and him were talking we were in the same room he was like well who you feel close to I was like me and Devon feel, I feel tight with Devon mm -hmm. and once he heard that I think that's when the ploy was used to mm -hmm. cause mistrust between us oh that makes sense Tyler, Cody, um, the others trying to, whether, you know, it just the mm -hmm. fact that it was being said to me mm -hmm. to split us up mm -hmm. because we had a lot of numbers. Mm -hmm. you, Obviously. Well, you can ask anybody and they'll all tell you. Um, that's why I was so frustrated, even so much that I started crying because I was like, I almost killed my game that week because I was very adamant about you not leaving. You know what I'm saying? And it felt bad because I was close to Nicole. But at the same time, and, and that was my constant argument. It's my my friend, because me and you weren't friends at that time. Yeah. So it was my friend against my morals and why I'm here. Yeah. And I was having that struggle and I was like, I can't and I and her campaign was great. It was great. She said she wanted to stay. She wanted to flip the house. She wanted to come after Janelle. Okay, that's great. But at the same time, I can't send this black man home. I cannot do it. And I stood very firm on that. And they were like, well, are you guys friends? Are you guys? And I said, I don't know him. So we don't even talk. But it's, that's just fucked up. Yeah. But it came down to that. that. That was the argument. And that's what happened. That's why when everything unfolded, I was like, the hell I went through through your week. And I didn't talk about it because you were on the block. And so I was like... He's on the block. I'm going to let him. But the hell that I endured that week from everybody saying, Devon, it's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. And I'm like, I'm not budging. I'm not wavering. I'm not shaking. I'm not budging. You know what I mean? So that was that situation that was going on. But that's fair to God, parents. I have never, never in this game been like David this or David that. The only one time I said anything, you were in the kitchen. And that's when I told you I was trying to get your attention when I was like, I'm going to make him a have not. And I told you, everybody kind of like latched onto that. Because they were trying to create. As, mm -hmm. So as soon as I, now it's all coming together. 